So welcome sketchbook heroes for another evening of drawing. Uh, we're going to be drawing a line right now and uh, we're going to be getting into form. So welcome. Uh, we're going to start off simple and um, welcome. Take on these challenges. Here we go. So uh, where's my, uh oh, it's not printed. It didn't print. <laughs> so it didn't print. It's all good. All right. So we're going to start off with a square. My line didn't print for some reason. And playing with my my printer might have just finally gave up. All right, we're not giving up though. We're gonna draw a line, and I think I'm upside down. Am I upside down? Yes, I'm upside down. There we go. There we go. That makes some more sense. Where's my line? There we go. No. All right, so we're gonna start off with square. A square is a basic shape, and it's a uh, same height, same width. So you know you can draw it really small. You can draw it really big. Uh, we might add a body to this lion, make up our own body, and 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 make a scene in a background. So a square uh, can't really get it wrong because it's uh, the the lines, the angles are horizontal and vertical, and it's the same height, same width. So you ask somebody to draw a square, they they know what a square is. It ha it's very specific. It's very specific. You know, it's like okay, it's square. Sometimes it's uh, it's a rectangle and people still call it square, but yeah, there is a difference between a rectangle and a square. So there's our, our uh, and as we always draw big shapes first, that way you know how it's gonna fit. I can draw it really small, I can draw it bigger. Uh, all right, here we go. And then the body, the hair is gonna be around it somewhere on there, I'm sketching. All right, so here's our square. We're gonna add the ears just around here. And this is proportions. The proportions aren't a big deal um, if they're off a little bit. I'm not being very precise. I'm kind of, um, I kind of see it and it just comes with practice. And if the ears are bigger or smaller, it's not a big deal. But you'll see the proportions. That's where proportions really, um, practicing proportions and seeing proportions, how big something is compared to something else. And blowing things out of proportion. Hey, don't blow that out of proportion. Uh, oh, we were, we've been doing actually caricatures. Yeah, where's that? Um, I just had it. The um, drawing of Tupac, not Tupac. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's his name? Snoop Dogg. That's it. Snoop Dogg. We did a caricature. Yeah. All right. So uh, there's an out, outer ear and then an inner ear, and they're just like a circle shape. Circle shape. And then. Um, and here's where I can break this down and see where the eyes and everything's located. So we break this square down into, into half and in half and kind of see the axis lines. These are kind of the axis lines. The eyes are above the center. The eyes are, are, are um, a little bit, well, yeah, we're gonna put them like in here, right in the middle of those squares. So you see those smaller squares? Those, that's where those kind of eyes kind of go in there. And that's a good placement. That's another P seeing the placement because you can't get proportions right but you know i can get the proportion right but the placement might be off like my ear is the right size but maybe it's not in the right place so placement is a, another p word along with patience and practice and persistence and and all the other p words i always throw out yeah right so that's what it's about being patient be patient with yourself you know yeah enjoy the lane you're in <laughs> Sometimes it's like, oh man, you know, I wish I could like start over again. Cause like, okay, no, I'll, you know, it's, it's finding those problems and figuring them out. All right. So the nose, we're going to go with the nose in here. And actually I heard somebody say that. I heard somebody say, oh, I wish I was a beginner again. Cause it's fun. Like, you know, figuring things out and getting to, but you know what? You never stop learning. You never really stop learning. Einstein said, <laughs> Einstein said, you think you have math problems. You should see mine. So, you know, it's, it's like, you know, always getting to try to get to the next level. Okay, what's next? All right, what's next? And you're, you're ready. If you're ready, say, you know, hey, Chavez, okay, what do I need to work on? Tell me, you know, hey, and sometimes, I don't know. I used to be, uh, I used to give too much feedback. And people are like, oh, I used to like to draw. And yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's be drawing for fun. You should know what your challenge is. You should know what your focus is because you can only focus really on one thing at a time <laughs> like talking and drawing here we go i think i just did the mouth without really talking about it so there was that triangle and then their mouth and it's got like little dots oh 
I'll put three. And then the whiskers. I'll go one whisker up at that angle, another one side up at that angle as well. I'm going up. Notice the angles. This one going down. This one going down. And then the one in the middle. Going right there. Bam. Bam. All right. There's our lion. Actually, no, we still need the main. We need the main main attraction, the main part. All right, so um, I can try to break it down. There's there's going to be a shape right in here. Um, there's another, like a V-shape here. And I probably went too big with my, my sketch. Uh, there's a V-shape there, another shape here, um, another shape right in there, another shape in here. It's almost like the letter E right in, on the side. And I try to see letters. I try to see other stuff. Um, another shape here, another shape here, and then here, right, like that. See, and I see these shapes. And then now when I go around them, these two ovals right here, I can just like just go around and it comes up around and then around like that. See, as I go around. All right, I think we're gonna draw a little bit. If you are drawing faster, that's fine. You gotta find your challenge. <clears throat> draw another lion, try the lioness, draw the body, draw a background, draw trees. You know, use your imagination, make a story. Don't just copy. You know, you want to embellish, you want to add, you want to draw it again. If I'm going too slow, if I'm going too fast, ask me to slow down, ask me to repeat. We are live. You know, don't be afraid. I don't know, that's, that's, that's one of the things, overcoming fear. Um, <laughs> Joseph Campbell says, the treasure you seek is in the cave you fear to enter. Yeah, so sometimes it's stepping outside your comfort zone. Being here tonight is stepping outside your comfort zone. Teaching others. Speaking. Wherever you're stepping outside your comfort zone. There we go. I'm getting these loops. A little more complex, I think. I don't know. They're, they're, these shapes are a little more complex, but they're just really oval shapes. They really are just oval shapes. All these, this hair in here. All this hair is just little ovals. There is a, a point down here at the bottom, comes up and around. Oh man, I wish my printer was working so you could see it side by side. Or if I had that, uh, we used to have a person here who got all into the NFTs. Um, and uh, he, he actually gave me a program that, that did it, but I never had the chance to get that program going. That's bad on me, but I'll be going back and looking at my notes because he told me the program but I never had time to um, to put it in and figure it out so I can have it. And he would have a different background and get all fancy. That's my next, you see, that's uh, my next level. That's my wall. Find your wall, find your wall. And then uh, I know that wall exists. I need to figure it out and uh, overcome it. All right, I think, oh, I was gonna put in another loop there, but this I just it connects to that one. Yeah, all these shapes, it's a puzzle. Every drawing is a puzzle. All the pieces, all the parts, how they fit. And a little bit of shading, I can do some shading. If I wanna put some eyebrows, get some emotion in there. But I can uh, practice a little bit of cross hatching. This is a probably good practice. This is good practice hatching, hand control, just going back and forth, practicing for a reason. And then when you get into shading, you're already like one step closer to, to shading, getting better at shading. And plus it erases my um, some of my guidelines that I had underneath. Oh, all right. I've drawn many lines, many a lion in my time. I ain't lying. Telling the truth. All right. Yeah, that's why uh, <laughs> the monkeys don't like to play cards. There's all the cheetahs and all the lions. All right. So uh, the body is going to be simple body. I'm just going to add a simple like it's actually um, it's almost a rectangle or square, but it's it's rounded. If you were to be able to see the inside of it, it actually adds a little bit of form. Uh, uh, then the feet, yeah, we'll just keep it simple. Uh, I'll do one toe right there with the letter H. Let me set the letter H on this side. Another toe. Toe on the outside, the toe on the inside. There we go, mitosis. Keeping it simple, trying to keep it simple. 
seeing how everything relates. See, it's got three toes. <laughs> there we go. One toe there, another toe over here. Having fun. I'm using a pen. Uh, you can use anything. We have some new people tonight. Get comfortable. Pen is good because you don't, it forces you to draw, not to erase. Uh, ooh, I should put some little, oh, man, I'm actually putting some nails. So three, actually, it should be four. Man, three is good. Maybe put a little bit of a, that shape. Okay. Um, and then a tail, maybe. Don't put the nails. I think the nails make it look too aggressive. I mean, it's a nice line. Let's cut the nails a little bit. Let's trim the nails. I've never, I don't know. There we go. Had to trim the nails on a. And then it can get really thick. I'm going to add a shadow to kind of fix it a little bit and gives it a little shadow really quick. Cross hatching gives it, uh, makes it look like it's so it's not floating. And then um, the tail, we can throw the tail in here. I'm just going to curve it around, maybe an S curve. There it is, like an S, the letter S. See that S? And then just thicken it up. Now, this is a good exercise. Uh, a good exercise is drawing parallel lines. So once you have one line and then try to get the other line to be parallel to that, that is a good exercise. And there's ribbons. I actually used to draw, actually, that would be good to do because we haven't done that. I don't think we've ever done that in this class. So uh, we'll do a quick little exercise. You can add some ribbons in here because um, that's a good exercise. Uh, do a ribbon. There we go. Yeah, add it to your arsenal. And just little by little, you add that to your arsenal, add stuff to your arsenal and get better drawing. Here we go. So um, I did the tail. The tail has like a little heart shape. It's, it is like a heart shape or a triangle shape. You can see that little heart triangle pointing out. Uh, so we've embellished, added to, um, there we go, but maybe add a little, little stripes, a little hair, there we go, to it. I'm going to add a little bit of shading too to match the, the main, the main, the main event. All right, there he is, cute little lion. Add a tree, add a background, add a plane, um, add a jungle. I don't know if you want to add another little lion. I won't, I don't want to get too fancy. Too too difficult. Let's put some shading real quick. What did I say? Oh, the the the, the, the ribbon. All right, cool. So I'm gonna do a quick, simple little ribbon. Um, uh, uh, the easiest way to do it is with two pencils or two pens, because uh, then it, the lines are parallel. So I'm gonna do a ribbon, a quick ribbon. Let's see. And it has to be kind of. There we go. Just do do it like that. All right. So uh, once you do one line with this ribbon. Um, and sometimes if your line isn't the right angle, the angle is gonna be, um, or the right curve and angle, it's, it's gonna, you're gonna have trouble. So try to, I should have made it a little more simpler, maybe the S the other way. No, even upside down, it should have been, it's a backwards S. I'm gonna make the, the thickness of my ribbon right there. And I'm getting that same angle, just keeping that same angle. I'm coming as far as I can to where this is, where that angle will fit on this side that angle see that same angle that angle here and then go over here on this side that angle and then that angle over here at the end yeah and then this is where um where you want to parallel if it goes in a little bit you know if it's not totally parallel it's not a big deal here is where there's cross crossover so it crosses over a little bit and it goes underneath so it comes out, out it comes underneath Comes over and around. Yeah, it's, it's a little more difficult. Actually, so you might need to move your paper around to get the right angle. Uh, there you go. And then bring this out on this side. And that curve. See, that curves that way. This curves this way. Easiest way to do that is just to get two pencils, uh, two, a, a pencil, and, a, and you can actually, um, actually get really fancy. You know, something like this, see? and then uh, yeah, then you can see where these two edges, and then you have to decide which is which is going, which way is it going forward, which way is it going backwards. You can see like right in here, or you can even do one of these little ends to it. See that ribbon? <laughs> that one was done really quickly. It looks nicer than than the one I did over here. 
It's all right. There we go. This one better. This just comes into it. Yeah. All right. What else should we draw? I wanted to get into form uh, 717. I wanted to get into form. We can draw something simple. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Bianca. Priyanka. Good to see you. Hello. 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 All right. So um, we, let's add something, uh, maybe a jungle animal. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're going to take it up a notch. Let's, I think we're going to maybe need to take it up a notch. Let's see. Uh, form. I want to do form. Something a little more three dimensional. Form. Animal. Drawing. Ooh. Images. Hmm. There's a bear. Oh, ooh, look at that. That's interesting. I'm going to share my screen. Um, Again, if it's too uh, difficult, let me know. I mean, especially the first drawing. The first drawing, we should want to try to get it to be simple. This elephant's cute. Uh, and then we get start going into something a little more difficult. Really, form is the next level. The form is the next level. Yeah, look at, see, these, these are a lot. Ooh, look at this one, even a three-quarter coming down at an angle. Uh, that one. Ooh, that, ah, that's a cute lion. Look at that one. <laughs> look at the shapes. Look at how it all fits. Yeah, look at some muscles. Look at that. These are good. Yeah, you got to find your challenge. Find your challenge and take it on. Uh, I haven't, I haven't, uh, there's a website, the PDF drive. I wonder if they have animals. We should look on that one. Haven't done that one, drive. I haven't uh, in a bit. Ah, look at that. That's cute. Oh, this is cute. Actually, we saw this movie yesterday. This is that um, design stucco. Oh, it's um, what's the name? Totoro. Of it? Yeah. Yeah. Look at shapes. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's cute. All right, I'm gonna go to PDF Drive. Oh, that's uh, yeah. So let's see if we let's see what we find on PDF drive, pdfdrive.com. There it is. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put type in drawing animals. You can get all kinds of uh, books on here, drawing animals, all kinds of in a PDF format. There it is. How to draw animals. This is a good. This is a pretty good book. What is it? Is it PDF drive? Yeah, PDF drive. Yeah, dot com. Yeah. This is how I got started with these books. I would go to the library before the internet. And actually, um, yeah, this, this was actually, I did the, these dinosaurs on my parents' uh, garage. Pretty, pretty big when I was in middle school. Oh, this one, uh, that's interesting, that elephant. Ooh, I like that elephant. Let's see, uh, why don't we get this elephant? There it is, it's preview. I, I like that elephant. I don't think it's gonna fit on my paper. I can make it fit. I can make it in the background. Let's see, but this is gonna be a little more challenging. Uh, checking for remote help. I might be able to, uh, let's see, download the PDF. I could have previewed it. Wonder if, uh, yeah, it just downloads. Open, yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, look at that frog, that's cool. Oh, that rabbit, ooh, that rabbit's nice. Holy cow. The reader. It was a funny thing too. And I would draw from these books. I'd always draw the last drawing. I wouldn't do the steps. I wouldn't do the steps. I'm like, what are the steps for? I don't, I don't get it. But now I, I understand the reason, the structure and how everything, you know, gets put together. I would just draw this. I was like, wow, wow, wow. And actually, uh, actually um, I took a class in college and I it wasn't even um it was with a Disney artist and he says oh you need to I'm like oh okay I get it now yeah this was a long time ago but I would draw just by copying and my proportions and things would be off a little bit but now my drawings are more accurate because I can see the structure I can see this um you know and it does take some practice to really see that um you know underneath here see that circle and that other oval uh, yeah, that bird. Let's see. That rabbit. I like that rabbit. The 
eyes look a little better. Ah. Uh, snail. Frog. Where's that elephant? Max. Elan. Ooh, that one's neat. Yeah, look at the shapes on this one. Yeah, it's really more complex. Definitely uh, a more challenging. What about drawing a cub? A cub? Did I pass? Did I? Did you see it? Did I pass it? No, I was just thinking about it. Ah. Is that uh, Jessica? Who is that? No, it's Maria. <laughs> oh, Maria. Oh, Maria, you're back. I am. <laughs> I, got, I got cut off, but it's something else. And... Ah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm glad to, to see you. Well, look at that, Dougie. Glad to be back. I'm glad you're here. All right, so let's see. I, I don't see any curves. There's the elephant I was thinking. I, I kind of saw. I think we're going to do the elephant. I don't see any cubs. Yeah, seal. Oh my gosh, what about tank the tank? Tank tank? That's... Tank the tank, the bear? Tank the tank? Uh, yeah, because uh, I'm looking at here. Uh, this. <laughs> you know who that is, right? No. Hank the Tank, he's a 500 pound bear that has been um, breaking into houses. Oh, really? <laughs> the tank. Okay, so that would be more advanced because uh, we would have to, uh, it's not broken down. And this guy, wow, he is big. Oh, actually, it's not that hard. Let me see. The poor thing, he's been eating and that's, he doesn't hibernate. Really? So they're looking for him. He's out. He's right now out in the most wanted. Here, look at the shapes. Actually, it's not that difficult. He looks so big. He's yeah. so he's five hundred pounds. He's the cutest, but all he does is break into people's homes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't um, print this out. Definitely gonna. My printer's not working. I guess right now, but this is definitely would be a lot of color. But yeah, the shapes. I, we can break this one down. Actually, why don't we break this one down? All right. So it looks difficult, but it's actually just mostly circles. Hank the tank. All right, so let me copy image address, paste it up here. So if you want to screenshot it, take a picture of it with your phone so you can have like something next to you so you can, you know, not just look at my screen. Oh, here, wait a minute. Uh, close that. There we go. That's a little better. All right, Hank the Tank. The eyes, I don't know. It's really interesting. All right, cool. All right, let's go with Hank the Tank, I guess. All right. Uh, I'll let me put the link in the chat as well. Copy chat oh we have uh, i fancy the elephant oh all right we'll do the elephant next <laughs> i love knowing you are all here even when i'm not yes had a late yes we are here yeah good, good deal yeah, there's hank the tank uh, any tips on making a flower look 3d instead of 2d oh yeah that's 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 where that's where the angles start coming in yeah um great question <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, let me see. Let's see if I recall. We'll do the. Uh, um, so now we got all kinds of drawings. We got the elephant, we got the bear, and we got a flower in spoosh. All right. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's, um, it's about angles. It's about um, that, those ovals. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I can actually. Uh, so a flower in space. I'll just remember. Let me take a note. <laughs> So we'll do the um, Hank. Sometimes I forget the elephant uh, flower. And I think, yeah, and any, any other requests, we can go more more challenging. All right, so Hank the tank is pretty much in the same height, same width, and actually uh, probably even close to a circle. So um, you can see that circle, and um, there's a lot of other circles going on, but. Um, Getting that height and the width is is uh, is good. It's it's a little bit wider, I would say, but um, a little bit wider than 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 a circle. But it's really close to the same height, same width, um, and that's what I'm going to use to build off on. And if I divide that in half, that the head is in that top half. Actually, Eladio, probably, can yeah. I can we see your drawing, please? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I forgot. Thank you. You're welcome. Hank the tank, there it is. Uh, let me see, I need to stop sharing. There we go, there we go. So, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. So we starting off with that circle. Hank the tank, there it is. Uh, which was, there it is. So circle, 
half the circle that's proportions i'm seeing the size of the head and how it fits in there it's it fits in this half if i were to do my axis line this axis line actually covers that axis line in there a little bit so i know the head's going to be uh somewhere in there uh and um, the head's going to be somewhere in there and inside that circle itself is going to be another um so uh the the whole kind of like um uh uh snout yeah that's what it is it's a snout it's not, it comes out there's a little bit of overlapping and the snout um it's almost square it's almost has it's a little bit longer um don't want to make it too long and then the eyes are like right about there right about there and that's pretty much that's the, the framework of it that's pretty much the framework so if you got that you're going to get pretty close <clears throat> all right so the, there is the front whole shoulder of the bear kind of comes in here like this i'm bringing it in just slightly and then there's the back part of the bear the back part of the bear kind of uh, a little bit of overlapping and uh, just bring that uh, up and over and down. Oops. Try that again. Little mistakes. There we go. Down. And then once we're about the middle, then this um, back leg kind of sticks out. Now this back leg is 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 in here. Let me sketch it in. It's it's almost like an oval shape. Not too clear, and it's not too clear because it's all dark. It's all dark. It looks like a platypus. Or I, what is that? No, you know what? It's not a platypus. There's this animal that I've seen. Oh, what is that animal called? Is it a platypus? No, it's not a platypus. There's this really awkward animal. I can't recall what it's called. So this back leg, this hind leg, uh, is, is rounded like that. And then um, and it has this back foot like fits in right here so notice the angle of that oval oval shape we'll add some hair actually i will i'm sketching it in right now but um i can i can we can always add the little details afterwards like make it look more furry more hairy more um and and, and sketch it is it a blobfish that you're thinking of yeah that's what it is i think <laughs> it, it reminded me so i googled it <laughs> clawfish is it with claw or a, a blob a um, like, that's what it is. Yeah, blobfish. you're right. Blobfish. That's now I get. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Blobfish. <laughs> I Google it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Blobfish. <laughs> that's it. it. Looks like a blobfish. The eyes are further apart, like Ziggy the blobfish. Yeah, Ziggy drawing too. That's it. You're right. The blobfish. All right. Okay. Let's get back to to here. All right. So um, some of the detail you really can't see. It's a little, the, the picture's a little blurry. Uh, I'm gonna make up some of the claws here. Uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and um, bring in one toe and then another toe here like that. And then just like simple toes at an angle. Um, this is actually already starting getting into form, form um, as far as spheres, not, geometric the more geometric ones like cubes and pyramids those are a little more uh, angle based this is more like um clay i would say but it still forms three-dimensional so i guess i'll keep it that way keep those paws there uh, a lot of this stuff i'm going to shade out all right so you, you've got the two legs in the front they kind of um they kind of block in right in here like this uh and i can see the same height same width i'm actually looking at my ratio um it's it's almost square in there with one paw right in here as a uh, oval shape and then another paw i'm going to bring it down just slightly and just bringing it down slightly gives it a, another sense of um space right in there so i'm making it a little bit bigger um this angle just slightly out i'm going to pull this out just a little bit and then bring it in a little bit Let's see right in here bring it in bring this one down and then out onto the um the bear claw Ooh, i haven't had a bear claw in a long time <laughs> it's a good thing <laughs> can 
not the the healthiest thing. All right, so it's it's coming along. Let's let's uh, work on the face, and then we'll come back and and um, work on the uh, on all this detail. So it, it looks really awkward. So definitely try to get the face, the ears, and and um, and that'll that'll uh, once we're happy with that, everything else will just come together. So I'm going to focus on the face. Let's focus on the family. Focus on the face. Here we go. Okay, so um, eyes are really awkward. Uh, we can almost even, I'm going to probably make them up a little bit and just make them round with a uh, yeah, slight shading in it. There we go, with a little bit of a highlight. And then there's a little bit of space around it. Keep that space, target shape almost. All right. I'm already going into detail. Let's let's uh, go at this outside. Actually, let's do the other eye as well. Just keeping it simple. Some of the some of the details lost. It's a little blurry picture. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna go give it. It's kind of like bandit eyes, almost like Charlie Brown, I guess. Charlie Brown has those like eyes here, but this is just um, a placeholder until I start shading, really, because uh, I'm going to shade that in. I'm going to put a slight angle on this snout. I'm going to bring it up to this eye right here. Notice right where it's at right there, right here. I'm going to bring it out at an angle, just slightly, just a slight angle. Not, it's not straight up and down. And then, um, the nose. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to put a little bit of a. <laughs> oh my gosh, it does look like a bob. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of a triangle to try to make it simple. Simplify. There's going to be like a little bit of a triangular shape right there at the bottom. Um, and then he's got the nostrils in there, right on that, uh, on that triangular part, right in here. Then I'm going to shade, yeah, shade a little bit of shade. Round out the bottom. And here it pull it, I'm pulling it just slightly and then pushing it up. Yeah, there we go. That's it. All right, let's get the ears in there. Looks a little cartoony, but that's all good. There's going to be one ear here with a little bit of overlapping. Notice the overlapping. It's an, and it's an oval shape here. Notice the overlapping. Right there. If this was a circle here, it's kind of like you know. <laughs> look at the relationships. Uh, and then there's another one, another ear on this side. This is a little bit more open, and almost triangular. It's almost like a triangular shape. If I were to, to make a triangular, round a triangle. So I would say this is a triangle, and then just round it. Right here, round it, round this corner. <clears throat> because yeah, that really helps uh, seeing the straight lines. All right now there's uh, the head has these shapes. <clears throat> uh, the first shape is the biggest shape. So the biggest shape is like this, this rounded shape on the outside. We can actually make it into a cartoon. <laughs> I can already see myself making it into a cartoon. Uh, I'm gonna go with this uh, outside shape here. And then, um, and then the inside shape, the skull shape, I would say the skull shape. So the, the skull is showing through a little bit. And bring this in. Probably just a line in there. This is a little more advanced. So, you know, if you're not hitting it, that's okay. This is at a three quarter view, a little more advanced. It's not a flat view. So we are going a little more three-dimensional because that's the next level first level is flat next level is trying to get something a little more three-dimensional and same thing with the flower we'll talk about that flower in a minute i think uh man, i'm getting this shape here i'm going to go ahead and i think what's going to make the rest of it is just the shading uh let's put a little bit of an eyebrow there's a little bit of an eyebrow like right in here slightly all this just really slight stuff I think just shading it will we'll do it. I'm going to go ahead and start with the dark areas. So I'm going to go from here, the ear. 
all this ear is going to be shaded in. Shade this ear in and then actually bring it down and open it up along this line here. And actually, uh, some of this texture can look like fur, some kind of shading in, in a direction there. Um, underneath here, I'm just shading. That's going to make the head pop out a little bit. This is a good practice. Good practice um, to getting that cross hatching or texturing. Just, uh, I should have probably done it with my, because uh, this is big, my grease pencil. I haven't used that one in a while. This just takes longer. All this in here, slightly shaded right to that line. Let's just focus on the face a little bit. This will make the nose pop because um, there's dark area around in here. I'm cross hatching in a different direction. Getting that shade in there. And I see this value is about the same as back here. So this value gets darker in this area. Right. Let me change my angle. All this is darker right in here. Pink. What's, what's the bear's name again? Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank, yes. Hank the Tank. Yeah, he's big. He's a big boy. He's so fat, he, he goes into the houses like a tank. Wow. Does he die? Does he like bust through doors and stuff? Oh, man. Yep. And windows. Oh. <laughs> Actually, it's I had it. It's not his fault. He was there first. Yes, he was. That's <laughs> right. I went to Yosemite once and a bear got into my car. He actually ripped, he got in through a side window and he got into the, uh, the, the trunk area. And you get fined if you have food in your car and they get into it. But it was, it was, uh, it was Do old. Do I see the feet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't done the feet yet. I am putting a little bit of hair, so I don't know, uh, just like little, little, uh, little tufts of hair as, as you kind of go around and just little like that. So it's not perfectly rounded. I'm just going around adding just these little details. Uh, let me work on this. He's got claws. I'll try to simplify. There's one there. He looks more like a polar bear. I got him looking like a polar bear right now. Uh, just go ahead and put one there. Yeah, the claws are really, I don't know, I'm just going to go around here, like a W. Notice there's like a W in here. And then just go around that way. Yeah, this is definitely, all right, our first hour. Like the bear in your car, though, how do you get it out? No, he, he no, he, he, <laughs> He got, he got out. He, he looked, and he didn't find anything and, and just left uh, my window broken, broken window and my, um, the, the back seat kind of ripped a little. So I had to drive, drive home from, uh, from Yosemite with a, with a window open and it was cold. It was in the winter. Yeah. Okay, so there's darkness up here. I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't go too dark. You want to slowly build up your shading. Um, and there's a lot of shading here. That's really, we really haven't talked about shading and values. Um, it's definitely a little more advanced. Um, I'm just seeing the values, the lights and the darks. You might want to squint your eyes. So this is definitely uh, intermediate or more advanced, getting the values. That's the next level. It's not totally beginning, beginning. So um, that. If you don't get it, that's okay. Um, getting the values, how light and how dark things are. The darkest dark is will be black, although there's uh, things that are blacker than black out there. But in when we're drawing, if we're you could, Yogi Bear. Can we draw Yogi Bear? Yeah, actually, we can draw Yogi Bear. That would be a good one. That'll that'll bring it simpler. Yeah, because we still got the elephant and the flower to do. All right, so I'm just getting the lights and the darks and where they go. Uh, there's there's some highlights. You can see this is actually um, trying to get a form. Uh, so I'm not totally shading it flat. I'm not shading it flat. I'm seeing where the darks are. 
like this area is darker than this area here. I'm just gonna make a little bit of color on the here. Definitely uh, clues like a little bit of hair here and there makes it, uh, okay, that is a bear. Hank the tank. Matching all through here. This area is dark in here between the legs. Shade all this. And pen, not that easy. Let's try and do it real quick. All right, I'm happy with the face. It looks cartoony, but it's it's all right. And this I'd actually probably put a little bit of a smile on it, a cartoon smile. Um, we could actually probably even put a little bit of shading on this side to make it round, more rounded. I would put it really slight, slight light just on that side. That gives it some form. It makes it a little more rounded. Even though it's not there, I know, I know form and I know how light would hit things and it makes it a little more rounded. There is some shading on the top as well. A little more on that. Definitely good shading practice here. Just hatching and cross hatching. A lot more dark in here. Take. Oh, the other toe. So these these are probably more like this back one. I'm gonna put a make them go up like this. Yeah, there we go. Just two. Two is good. There we go. So these toes, oh, they weren't in the screen. Yeah, so just these two, two lines delineate like three toes there. I am simplifying a lot, but you do see the shapes. That shading in there, it goes darker in here. All this would be really dark. I should probably even start losing some of this. Just put on some dark in there. There's this darkness in here. And the more you, you the more you cross hatch, the darker it gets. So you can slowly build up your your shading, your value, and build it up. So I'm cross hatching in a different direction. area dark underneath this line right here it makes the head pop a little bit okay. the back of the bear is, is pretty smooth it's around the um yeah around the bottom part is where the the, the hair really starts pushing out that's actually an interesting characteristic down here so all this could be smooth i did make it a little sketchy shading there do a couple flowers i think we're gonna um yeah that elephant let's see we'll get the elephant we'll take a break it's getting close to 7 45 which is actually our time to show your, your stuff so we can make it to the eight o'clock. Okay, so we're gonna show our things? Yeah, yeah, you'll show your things. Um, let me just do the flower though, let me just do a flower. Uh, so the flower is basically uh, uh, on a circle shape here and, and the circle um, in space turns more into an oval. So um, I know somebody had that question. Radio, can you move can your you... Oh. Yeah, thank you. Let me zoom out, there we go. Yeah, the, the flower as an oval and things that are closer get bigger as we talked about uh space and things that are further back get a little bit uh, uh yeah so a flower making it three-dimensional and that's the same thing as, as things move around so that's just a quick and this the way this sticks out understanding form and that is totally next level that is totally next level all right. Uh, that with that said, we're gonna go go, hop, go ahead and share out. I'm looking for some hands. Who wants to share out first? I'm putting a little quick shadow in there to make it look like he's on something. And, uh, there's Hank the Tank. 
All right, share your lion. You don't have to share, we just share for fun. Uh, it, sorry, something went wrong. Something sent something. What? Sorry, sent wrong thing. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. Onboarding form. The tank JPEG. Uh, okay. Yeah, so feel free to share anything you'd like. Uh, was that a spinal tap reference? I don't know. Yeah, we're going to crank this to 11. <laughs> we're going to crank this drawing to 11. <laughs> yeah, different levels, you know, it, it's a different level. You got to know where your level's at, where your level of challenge. This is definitely not our, our, our lion. You can see the difference between the two. Right, the, the line drawing and, and then this one's definitely a little more. If you got this one, if you even tried it, I congratulate you for just trying, taking on that challenge. And you say, oh, okay, wait a minute. Maybe I'm not a beginner, beginner. <laughs> Sometimes we, we don't, you know, I don't know. We, we eat baby food and we're like, okay. So you say, hey, wait a minute. I'm ready, ready for the grown up food. <laughs> I'm ready for something a little more challenging. Something a little more texture. All right. No, as nobody wants to share, we can. Uh... I don't know. I'm not sure mine. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, oh, there's some hands. I see Mary. We're going to go with Mary. Uh, there we go. Hi, Mary. Hi. Uh, you, I, you know, I can I went for the more realistic one, but he oh. ended up being like a fat blob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he looks like a fat blob. <laughs> yeah, it, well, he That's is. So he's cute. Really it's cute. Looks like a giant squirrel. I don't know. I know. That was fun to practice. Yeah. 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 So yeah, some of the values, and then I think the the, the snout uh, maybe a little bit of an angle, the, a little bit more uh, angular. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah, because it looks uh, a little straight. But yeah. yeah. Okay. That's okay. all good. Thanks okay. for taking on that challenge. You got the form though. You got a good sense of form, that that <laughs> roundedness. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Now uh, we'll go with Priyanka. Let's see. There we go. What you got? So, oh, look at, wow. Oh, look at that. Ah, awesome. <laughs> you hit it. <laughs> uh, you're lying. I didn't see the other Yeah, lady. my lion. Yeah. Ah, you got, oh, look at it. <laughs> a little sailboat. Sweet. Yeah. What'd you use? Ink pen? Marker pen? What is that? Uh, yeah, I used uh, oh. Faber Castle. Uh, oh. I don't know what, the tip. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what it's called. The felt, like a felt tip. Marker, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Let's go with Mar Thank you for sharing. Uh, let's go with Maria. What you got? Okay. So I mind to sketch. I did a little one and a big one. Uh huh. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Glad you got two of them in there. Yeah. <laughs> I really I like the the um the the gestural kind of like form that you're getting with the the legs and the back legs. <laughs> they really look. Looks a lot more realistic than mine. I, that, that, uh, you actually, uh, I was just sketching. <laughs> no, no, that's good. It's cool. Thank you. All right. Blacker than black. Wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's uh, Mary. I think we got you already. Let me put your hand down. Unless you want to show your line. No? Oh, I got you. Hand, <laughs> hand down. Hand down. Let's see. Uh, I don't, did I? All right. Let's see. Oh, anybody else? Is that it? All right. Cool. No line was there. Oh, I see Brian. Hold on, Brian. Brian's got his line. There we go. Ah, there you go. Oh, so cute. <laughs> All right, sweet. All right. Uh, did, was that Josh? Josh, did you want to share? Oh, here's Liana. Liana, hold on. People just holding it up without raising their hands. Okay, there we go. Ah, there you go. Oh, look at the cross hatching. Oh, it's a baby. It's a baby hanker tank. It does, uh, yeah, it does look like a baby hanker tank. That's because of the proportions. It's the proportions. Worried. I, he looks very worried. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's my next food coming from? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've never done cross hatching before, so this is interesting. That's great. Fantastic. That was the first. All right, let's see who else. That's, um, I guess that's it. We'll go into, uh, oh, I, in, in I always say your name wrong, sorry. Can I okay. see a bear before you go to the next session, next sketch? You want to see uh, my bear? 
New Bear, yeah. Okay, sure. But um, oh, before, after after oh, Demi. Yeah, yeah, sure. Ine, right? Yep. Hi, so hi. this is my oh, ooh, my lion. Oh, how cute! More to the yeah. There you go. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> You colored them, yeah. And I colored the bear. Oh, I don't wow. know. It just looks ah yeah. uh, okay. <laughs> now the eyes got them a little further apart. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. But you're getting yeah. good form. You're getting that form, which is really yeah. good. Just the, the the sense, the mass. You can get a good sense of mass on, on that drawing. That's great. In he looks like he's ready for hibernation. <laughs> <laughs> Already, yeah. <laughs> Ready for the winter. Oh, Brienne. And let's go with Brienne. Got to show your video before I can. Right, I didn't, didn't quite get finished, but uh, that's what I got. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's like you get a good light source, like coming from the top uh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, Daryl. Let's go, Daryl. There we go. What you got? Oh, there you go. Sweet, sweet. Or two dimensional. I didn't get the angle there, but that's yeah, just like, yeah, yeah, no, but there you go. You got you're getting good contour, contour lines in there. <laughs> Blending them out. You got the good form. Yeah, there you go. I tied a body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it went sideways on it. That's good. Oh, you got the panda too. Let me see the other side. You have a little another line. Uh, you did the rounded one. Oh, great. Yeah, that's fantastic. Sweet. Oh. Good to see. All right. Daryl, thank you for sharing. Uh, let's go with Danny. What you got? Let's see. Mine's there you not go. the best, but <laughs> getting there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Good, so. It's all good. I didn't get to the shading too much. But... That's fine. That's fine. No, you got to yeah, do what you can. Every, everybody's at a different level, but that's it. Uh, yeah, definitely it's not easy. This one was a, this was a little more challenging. Glad you took it on. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so... um. Oh, I'll show my drawing again, I guess. Yeah, can you show your bear? That's my bear. My Ooh, bear. Upside down. Yeah. Upside down. I'm done with my drawing. There you go. Oops. Oh, hold on, John. There we go. That's, that's, uh, that's my bear. There go. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I can probably, <laughs> I'm looking at it now too. The, 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 I'm not happy with that, but it's always, it's all good. Uh, as far as I would probably, oh, here's my pen. You look very cute. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I know I was, I was I was thinking of like adding like a little bit of a mouth shape in there, but but yeah, there's a slight angle in here. The proportions, um, I didn't really um getting that those proportions of the eyes and stuff some people struggled with, but that's okay. All right. Um, Josh, did you want to share something? Yeah. Where are you at? There you are. Hold on, let me see. Let me get you. All right. Oh wow, look at that. Ah, oh, you put a hat on him. <laughs> you put a hat on him. All right, where's your lion? I like the hat. Love the hat. Love the creativity. Yeah, don't just copy. Add add to your stuff. There you go. All right, sweet. Oh, look at those the the, the hair on him is really. And he's got his claws really on that that the king of the hill. <laughs> yeah. All right, sweet. All right, Josh. Thank you for sharing. All right, so uh, we're going to go into the elephant. Um, if you're joining us, uh, I wanted to go into that elephant. Let me see if I have that uh, page. Uh, I did talk a little bit about the flower, the blobfish. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. I found the book. Oh, there's a pig. There's a cow. Oh, that rhinoceros. I'll put it back up. I'll share my screen again. We'll draw the... the uh, then, uh, Maybe Vian? Right. Who am I? Am who? I am a who vein. Oh, all right. Let me share the screen. There we go. Share. Uh, uh, not the fish, not the shark. I'm going to, uh, the elephant we passed already, but I just look and see what else is on this. Oh, that spider looks cool. Yeah, look at how they break it down. Look at the axis line. Uh, and this helps too, getting your sy symmetry too, so having that axis line. Sometimes one side will be bigger than the other when you're drawing. A beetle, mosquito. Oh, they actually broke ground. I, I have news. They actually broke ground to the uh, panels that I'm doing. They actually broke ground. I did take pictures. Um, let me see of where the panels are going to go in, at, here in Ascot Hills in, uh, in, in SoCal. 
Um, uh, hold on, let me get those. And so let me just. Yeah, in Ascot here, in, uh, Ascot Hills, it's called. It's a hiking area. It's a. Uh, uh, oh, I have my class doing these. Actually, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, we're doing pattern pattern shapes uh, using uh, Photo P, that website. Oh, that's my school uh, on this clear day. It was actually a panoramic shot. Yeah, school, I, I will be. Yeah, it's the school up on the hill. Oh, oh yeah, some of my students. We are doing um, Ivy Learner profiles. Was it? Yeah. Wow. Wait a minute. Where's the? Uh... Oh, there they are. There it is. Okay. So yeah, it's going to be in the shape of a, a butterfly. So you kind of see the wings there. Uh, I don't know if you can. I don't know if the quality's good. There you go. The wings. And there's a sign there already. The sign is. Uh... Yeah, this is Ascot Hills. And it's it's uh, like uh, five minutes from downtown LA. Five, 10 minutes, yeah, there it is. So it's coming soon, Ascot Interpretive, Ascot Hills Park Interpretive Nature Center. That's, oh, there we go, that's better. There we go, that's, uh, that's where it's at. Butterfall, yeah, these, these hills, nice little hiking. There you go, that's it, all right. All right, so we're gonna go on and um, if you're leaving us, uh, thank you for, um, we can't see that. Oh, did you see it? Am I still? Can't see it. Am I high? Did I do I have somebody highlighted or is it just me? Let me see. I don't know if I highlight myself. Bye, Maria. You're sharing the screen, maybe. Hold on, let me see. Huh? Oh, there it goes. I didn't spotlight. Is that better? I don't know. So your screen share is bigger than your camera. Oh, that's what it was. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, I think I lost my uh, pictures. Yeah, I forget. It was two, two, two the other day. Oh, there we go. So, uh, so yeah, this is Ascot Hills. Yeah, so this is yeah, that's a butterfly. That uh, looks better. Yeah, so you can see the wings. That's where the panels are going to go. There's thirty panels on the art panels that I've shared. There you go. That's, that looks better, probably, I'm sure. And then there's, that's the sign. Ascot Hills Park. All right, I shared. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and draw the elephant now. Uh, uh, any other things? I hike there with my dogs all the time. Oh, great. Yeah, so you'll see, you'll see, you'll see my work there. And some student work too. Um, they actually have the uh, groundbreaking just recently. All right, so we'll draw the elephant, and I think we'll do some. We'll do some exercises. I don't know. Are any requests? I, I wanted to do form. Just talk a little bit about form. Actually, why don't we do that? Uh, and then we'll draw the elephant. A little bit about form. There's five basic forms, and it's really about the angles. So um, the cube is probably one of the most basic ones. Um, drawing that cube and seeing cubes. Um, and, and getting those angles. Um, so I, I usually, when I see a cube, I try to see the closest part and see this angle. So it's usually like, it looks like a letter Y and those three angles kind of dictate all the other angles. So this letter Y right there, there that letter Y. And then from here, this angle going usually is vertical Sometimes it, it does go in if they're depending on perspective or if you want to exaggerate, but usually these lines are parallel, straight up and down, straight up and down. Yeah, if it's if there's a little bit of perspective, then then that does change. All right. That goes straight up and down. This Y, this is straight up and down, vertical, vertical, vertical. And then this angle is a slight angle. This back angle would be that same slight angle. Um, and this is where angles, this is the next level. You have your ratios, then you have your angles, and then proportions, how big something is compared to something else. So angle, this angle, that angle, and then this angle going in that same direction. And these angles will change. That's what makes it, you know, you gotta learn to observe and see these angles, learn to see these forms. 
you know, like here, find something and say, oh, okay, wait a minute, I'm gonna draw this. I'm gonna see the angles. Here's this angle, that angle, that angle back, right? And see how it all fits. See, if I were to draw that, it would be thinner, right? It's the same, it's just thinner. And then there's the top, the cap, and that goes up and down on that um, cologne bottle that I always, <laughs> I always have around right here for some reason. <laughs> I think I, I, I shared it one time and it, it just has stayed in this room and I use it as an example often and then just shade that in. Yeah. All right, so form. And all this would change depending on your angle that you're looking at it. it uh, just shade that in. All right, let's get to drawing the elephant. And I just want to talk a little bit about form. And that's just one of them. All right, let's draw the elephant. Let's draw the elephant. I'm going to uh, share my screen this time again. All right, good night, Irma. Uh, oh, thank you, Ine. All right, let me see. I have a hand up. Who's that? Oh, Danny. Danny, you have your hand up? Yeah, did you want to oh, show something, Danny? No, sorry, that was my mistake. That's all, that's all right. All right. All right, so uh, back to the elephant. I'm going to put the elephant up. So if you want to screenshot it, you want to give it a go, let's give it a go. That, that uh, bear was uh, not, 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 not easy. It was, uh, it was quite a bit of challenge. I don't know. Hopefully, I, I wanted to find something maybe a little more intermediate, but it doesn't always hit the spot. Maybe this, um, share my screen. This turkey would have been probably a little better. I like this turkey. The, the shapes are really interesting, actually. These shapes are really interesting. Yeah, look at that, the egg shape right there. Yeah, that's really interesting. A uh, rooster. That. Oh, somebody wanted the elephant. Oh, look at that! Look at that bear. That's really cool. The shoulders. Take the tank. Triangular. All right, somebody. Uh, Cool. All right, let's go with that elephant. Where's that elephant? Way up here. There's a lot of drawings. Uh, there we go. There's the elephant. All right. So a uh, little more on. Uh, yeah, let's see. I'm going to see if I can zoom in. There we go. More to the right. No. There we go. So if you want to screenshot it, go ahead and screenshot. And you'll have a little bit of a reference. Um, let's go with this elephant. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing. We got, uh, this was my first time with all of you. Thank you. Uh, I like my bear. <laughs> See you next time. All right, Patricia. Got to go. Thank you. All right, Regina. Uh, we are hearing water running. Yeah, not anymore. I just, all right. All right. Good night. Good night. All right. All right here we go. Let's draw this elephant. Uh, 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 stop sharing. Don't forget. All right, we got 26, 26 hardcore heroes here uh, drawing our elephant. Yeah, the bear, the bear was tough. This elephant's also a little bit on the challenging side. See how they break it down. I see they draw it like the circle head and the, and the body. Okay, cool, like an egg-shaped body as well. And that's where ratios come in, really um, seeing how wide things are, how big things are. Wow. Yeah. Let's see how can I break that down? All right. So uh we'll yeah, we'll do that egg shape. That egg shape. So this egg shape. Um there we go. That egg shape. That egg shape, a slight angle to it. How's that egg shape? Not a perfect. Yeah, that's that's good. We'll start there. And then off of that, just the, the legs just come down from there. And then the head is on top of that. It's a little bit more, uh, well, I'll, I'll start off with a circle. About that size, it goes up a little higher, there we go. So that's it. So you wanna see how everything fits. You wanna see um, the ratios, the proportions, and this shouldn't take you that long. With some practice, this can be done really quickly, especially like the, that uh, line website. Uh, you can draw this stuff really quickly. And, and I thought, I, I'm not going to waste my time doing that stuff. 
but this helps the framework. This, um, when I was learning to draw, I would just draw that last drawing, but this helps get the framework in. It helps get you the ratios. It helps get you the proportions, how big something is to compare to something else. And you can make adjustments like, oh, as you're drawing, you're like, oh, wait a minute, the body's a little bigger, it's a little smaller. And I would draw detail. I would start with one part when I was learning to draw. Uh, and I did that for a long time. I would draw, start in one area and then just continue going. Sometimes, and my drawings would be out of proportion or just stretched out sometimes. But this helps keep everything a little more uniform. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to, um, it does angle down. And this angle is really, uh, it comes out and down here like this. This is the um, the J backwards J. Oh, no, it's not backwards. It is a J. Like the letter J for this, the um, the trunk. And the trunk, the trunk, a lot of trunk room here. So J here, that ice cream kind of shape. Notice that like ice cream cone, this angle, and then this angle here. It kind of looks like an ice cream. That J, and here's the bottom. Oh, there we go. Camera was, was off. I think that's it. Let me see. Is it? Let me move this up. There we go. Oh, that's good. It sounded like loo water. <laughs> All right, so there's my, my frame, my, my uh, or we're going to build on this. And the circle head, uh, I'm going to attach the ear to that. It's because that circle, you know, once you have a circle and, and uh, we can make changes because the circle is a circle anywhere. It has the same height, same width. That's the ratio. Now the ear attaching the ear right about here and then it comes out like a triangular shape uh, and then comes back up right in there. It's like this shape here, that triangular shape. Notice the ear and how it fits and how it overlaps. Um, and if I were to break this circle into fourths, boom, 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 and half and half, you can see how it kind of like fits in there. Right. And those angles. All right, now I'm gonna round it out. Well, actually, there's a lot of little detail, but I simplified it actually quite nicely. If I should, I'd say my soul, my soul. The inside part of the ear kind of goes in there. So with this cut in fourths, uh, the eye is at that uh, center part right here on the inside. I would say right about there, um, and it's a sleepy eye here with a, a bag. Uh, it's got like a yeah half moon little bag. Let me zoom in on that because that's right in there. I'm already attaching it, finalizing it, actually. Yeah. It doesn't have any pupils. It's just uh, like that sketch of a drawing with that eye, a bag like that. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. Oops, zoom out, not in. Mm. All right, so the, the form of the head, there's a little bit of a bump on this one, right in here, right over it like that. It is connected to the ear, this bump here like that. And then um, curves out slightly at that end. And then a bump, a second bump, it's probably about the same size, but it's behind this first bump. So it comes up going down and then um there's a bump on this other side for the eye on the other side oops i'm going to bring it in because I, I went to um proportion wise i think the the, the trunk i'm going to push in a little bit from my sketch uh, slightly actually that works so. that's good I'm gonna focus on that area. Let me zoom in. Focus on this triangular area. So the, the, there's a roundedness, and this is form here too. This is a, a cylinder, a form going around like this. There's one, two, and 
three, slight roundedness. And that form is a cylinder, cylinder. All right, so the tusk comes in right underneath that circle, right under the eye. Yeah, this, this drawing is a little more challenging as well. So just like the bear, I think it might be a little less challenging than the bear. Well, a little more. I think I, I helped with that cross hatching. The, the, the... Axis lines really definitely help. And so here's one tusk. It does taper, goes from thick to thin. So watch that, you newbies, you newbies, uh, watch, notice how it goes from wide to thin, thick to thin. New, newbies have a hard time seeing that. They'll go parallel. So there's one tusk, and then the other tusk just sticks out on the other side. Like that, there we go. Uh, in, my, in the picture. Let me zoom out. Clean it up a little bit. There we go. All right, so you see a little bit of the trunk bottom, just slightly, but it goes parallel here and then it comes back as it tapers as well. This is tapering as it comes down. Tapers and notice that taper. And then it goes up and then the trunk. A little bit of a loop there, a little bit of a, a U, a U-E. Yeah, it's looking good. I think it is. I don't say so myself. So that looks pretty good, that shape. Notice that triangular shape, that whole shape of the head. All right, the bottom of the mouth does come in uh, like a like an S shape. So get that curve, and then it curves back out. Uh, oops, that's like a jaw, curves out, and then comes back in. The mouth kind of comes in like a little check mark or a V, right at the right at the bottom there. Check mark or a V. All right, a lot of detail and stuff. I'm gonna, uh, let's see, take a little break. A couple seconds here, see if we catch up. Eight All right, so we'll go till nine o'clock tonight. We'll be going longer next month. Let's go to nine till nine tonight. All right. Um, all right, here we go. All right, little break done. So let's do this ear. All right, so there's there's always a little detail. So I have that triangular shape, but I'm gonna push it, round it out just a little bit giving just a little more um, of what's actually there because this is actually curves in. You can keep that triangle or um, just, uh, you know, it's like, then it curves out, then it goes in, and then it's got like these little things in it like that. Probably there's three of them. I have one more. All right, and then there's a little bit of a curve here. I'm pushing it in slightly. There, see? So, I mean, there it is. That's why it's that, that triangle is hard to see because all these little curves and stuff, but it really helps getting that ear in there. All right, I'm happy with the head. Hopefully you're happy with yours. All right, now let's attach the body to it. Should kind of fit along those lines. It does curve here. Um, it's pretty, per, pretty perpendicular, straight up and down from here. So it curves in and then it goes pretty straight up and down. And then uh, I'm looking at it, how it relates to the tusk, which is probably should have been in a little bit more. 
but that's too late. Well, I can change it. I would. <laughs> it's never too late. If I see it, I can actually do that and then shade all this in. If I were to do this just really quickly, say, oh man, it should have been further in. It's not a big deal. Not a deal breaker. Then the um, the toe, toe comes out. Yeah, that's just, toe comes out, then down, and then back. I'm gonna uh, see if I can block them in. So this is gonna be one leg. I'm gonna really lightly put them in, see how it's gonna fit. I don't want, I'm just gonna block stuff in. Look at my thickness, seeing how it fits. Noticing these angles, noticing this other toe. It's further apart. So I don't know, maybe I need to move that. Give it a little bit more space. Seeing how it all fits too. I'm also actually, once I do this, I can actually see how as this as another shape and see if that, does that, is that looking good? It's not just these shapes here, but these bigger shapes. And do they all fit like they should? Uh, that looks good. This body looks good. The back legs are going to be in here. Looking at that negative space. I'm just kind of blocking stuff in. Seeing how it's all going to fit. Two, two legs in the back. All that thickness. Before I commit any of these lines, I'm just sketching it in. And if it looks good, if I can imagine it, look back and forth, I say, hey, that looks good. Then I can commit to, uh, to pushing those lines in dark, darker. Because I have it, I have it kind of light. And I'm shading this line since I don't erase. I, and I can wipe it out. Later. Nobody will ever know. All right. So that's, hey, that's pretty much it. Let's see, is that too close? All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and um, let's darken these lines up right on top of our sketch. There is a difference between sketching and drawing. And we're turning our sketch more into a drawing. Slight difference. There is a little bit of a flat right there and then a little flat this way. Slightly exaggerating it. This leg here, I would say um, this actually connects to almost like an oval shape right in there. Uh, this oval shape, that back leg. A little bit there, and then it comes out straight. This bottom uh, leg, this foot kind of comes out like a tree trunk. And then the nails, the center nail. There we go, nailed it. <laughs> and then the other nails. Oh my gosh, it's quiet night tonight. That's it's, uh, interesting. Where's I'm Jessica? laughing at your jokes. <laughs> oh, glad. All right. Jessica's, Jessica, she's, she, I think she maybe had left. She left the building. Me? I'm here. Oh, yeah, there, there you are. Okay. All right. Yeah, today was an interesting day. It was 2.22 this week on Tuesday. All right. So a little bit of overlapping. This belly, belly does go in front of this leg. So this leg would be behind it. And it's just knowing the construction of, of things. So this leg, this belly is in front of this leg. Uh, artists create space using overlapping. Overlapping. There it is, overlapping. Let's do this front leg. Actually, let's do the back leg. Let's finish the back. This angle here, a little bit of a curve. This straight up and down. And then the foot comes out. Um, one toe, this is one toe here. And then the other toe here. Just, just like the arches, the little arches. These toes are arches. Yeah. There you go. Be on your toes. Funny guy. Funny guy. 
to the dead. So, Eladio, yes. if you look at the perspective, the the um, the rear, the right rear, and then the left uh, right front should be shorter. Um, oh, what do you mean? You know what I mean? If it's uh, if you're even in the drawing, they're all on the same plane. Right. You, you're the right. right the foreleg is yeah. a little bit longer. I would, yeah. The, yeah. I would, I would, I would lower this one. Yeah. This, this okay. leg would, should be lowered a little bit, but they're on okay. the same plane. Yeah. If I would, yeah. Because yeah. that, that has to do with placement. So I call it um, uh, space pods. So how artists create space is with space pods, right? And the P stands for placement. So things that are lower, just even a little bit, are closer to you. And things that are higher up or further away. So yeah, this one should be a little bit lower. So that's placement. And then you have the O for overlapping. Uh huh. And then D for detail. And and this thing's all really close. So the detail is not a big big factor. And then size. Things that are closer are bigger. So this would probably be a little bit bigger than this back leg here. Yeah. yeah. And then so, the same with the leg that is closest to the trunk. Yeah. They, I would, they, they, in the given picture, it just yeah. doesn't look right. No, it doesn't. You're right. You're right. And the, those are just slight, really slight things. This, this, this one should be closer to us. This leg here, and should be a little bit lower, right? And that, that is all just placement. But yeah, right. In the picture, in the picture, it is does look off. If you really look at it, it is off. This leg should be lower, and actually probably even a little bit lower than those because he's actually kind of like almost facing us. And it's just really slight stuff, but I'm glad you noticed that. Yeah, that's that's placement in our space pods. Placement. Mm -mm. Good eye, good eye. All right, so uh, uh, we go. This leg is in front. You can should still see that form, see that form, and then the leg in front. This this leg, it's got like an elbow or something going on up here, and curves out. Comes down pretty straight. So, all right, yeah, and this one goes a little bit slightly lower. Oh, Yelena's not here. I know there's all so much stuff going on in the Ukraine. Are you gonna draw a little mouse right in front? <laughs> yeah, that would be cute. Yeah, we can do that. Little mouse in the front, and just by adding there, it totally tell story. I mean, that's totally. I mean, they're afraid of that mice, right? Or is that a like a cartoon? I, don't I think know. it's a cartoon myth. Yeah. How do you raise your hands for this? Thing, oh, for this that's a good question. Uh, so do you raise your hand. Um, you would um at the bottom of where the controls are um let me see there's uh you click on more and there's um reactions you can raise your hand there oh, okay. yeah oh okay i didn't know that yeah there's another way too i think uh, if you click uh, right where your name is as well no wait a minute yeah there's there's other reactions somewhere else I forget where that's at okay. that's just one of them all right let's see let's finish this up but we can actually go into a lot more shading with this because it shouldn't be white. I can actually this cross hatching looks really good on the elephant because of all the wrinkles. All the wrinkles. So that, that actually looks pretty good. There's slight curves, slight little bumps. And then this leg kind of goes forward right there. And it should be higher up than, than this one. Yeah, but if you do look at the original, yeah, they do have it actually almost even backwards. It looks like that. Uh, uh, this 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 one's higher up <clears throat> although it's, it should be lower and closer all right let's put the nails on this one let's see one nail two nails three nails do know. you think that copying things by other artists is valuable yes it is they've been doing it for years thousands, hundreds of years um copying artists up you know under you know it is very valuable copying is is a good way to go but you uh, it can stunt you uh so this is why being, being creative and doing it your own way doing it from memory try to try to um and even copying from life um is, mm -hmm. is a good 
do it too. Uh, not just copying from pictures. So you, you got to, um, you know, have a variety of, of not just copying, you know, it's good to copy what you like. It almost becomes part of your repertoire, part of your, you know, and you see like, wow, how did I, this artist break something apart? You know, how do they do it? How do they handle it? <clears throat> yeah, no, it is, it is very valuable. And I don't know, there's, I don't know where it is. And my, my students all, all every, every year <clears throat> throughout the years, oh, copying is cheating. Copying is, it's not, it's not cheating. I mean, masters do it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's right. Yeah. So it's, it's not cheating. But there's that precept. Oh, you copied. Yeah. Well, I'm studying, you know. Oh, there's a talk about, yeah, studying. You're studying, you, you study the masters, you study, yeah. you know. Most, most sincere form of flattery. It's like yeah. uh, covering a song in music. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like covering a song in music. And uh, you learn, you know, like, wow. And then you create your own music. Mm. Yeah, because definitely that's a big example in music. Music, you know, there's some musicians, that's all they do. They just, they don't actually do original work. Some just uh, copy. I actually am a musician and I came to a point in my life where I just went completely toward music. This was in college, but I used to draw before then and I've completely forgotten how to draw. So now I want to do that again. Oh, great. Well, hopefully this helped. <coughs> yeah. Great. Yeah, and just doing it for fun. You know, you, 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 uh, you, you just uh, yeah. playing the scales is like just like um, doing the shapes and forms. And then once you do that, once you then you can actually start doing it, doing your own. I mean, what does this elephant look like, you know, in a different, you know, perspective, a different point of view? What would that elephant right. look like? And then that's that's where you're really exercising your um, your your muscles. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so here really quickly, just do that. It's like turn. <clears throat> And then getting, yeah, the different angles. <clears throat> yeah, because the way things move in space is really interesting. You know, a front view, side view. This is a, a little bit of a three-quarter view. It's not totally a profile. <clears throat> um, how would I do the wrinkles on the knees? Because elephants are known for their wrinkles. Yeah. I yeah. would just, just like form. Because uh, right? Yeah. So it, it's a cylinder shape. <clears throat> so a cylinder... Uh, great question. A cylinder goes like this, right? So all you're doing is, is you see this bottom two, the bottom kind of rounds out a little bit. You want to try to capture, go in that same uh, space. Uh, since, oh, I got to, I do have a drink right here. Hold on. <clears throat> that same um, direction all the way down. Students, when they do cylinders, they always flatten, not, uh, not all of them, some of them flatten the bottom. But it does uh, curve as it goes. It should be going that, in that direction. We should also kind of like go in that direction. Um, yeah, if you want to get the actual, you can actually cross hatch it. It's really a texture. Their 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 legs are really solid. They have to hold up a lot of mass. Oh, hold on, take a drink. <clears throat> All right, 831, we can actually do, um, need to sign off. All right, interesting techniques tonight. You're welcome. I don't know, is Regina here? Let me might have left. She was a little quiet tonight. But uh, we've got, um, we can go to that, uh, where we can draw something really quickly, that line line drawing <clears throat> and draw some animals from there actually do we do animals last time no we did faces <clears throat> we can do some some animal i was thinking of i don't know doing a time drawing where they were all like two minutes two minute time drawings <clears throat> for 30 minutes two minute ones <clears throat> all right and if anybody would like to share before we do that 
If I love you. Quick question. Yeah. Yes. So I noticed on your website, um, I was checking out the one line drawing that was uh -huh. on the videos posted and they did like a flower. Do you have a recommendation for one that's for an animal, like a one line drawing? One line drawing for animal on my website. Let me see. <clears throat> or, or if it's not on your website, like do you know of another source that might have one? Is um I found that it was a good technique for me to stop trying to erase, <laughs> with oh. my phone, but not like be so forced with having to use a pen. Um, yeah. And uh, it I thought it was good practice. So oh, like the, oh the exercise, yeah, 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 yeah. Other exercises, yeah. There's blind contour drawing. There's a lot of different exercises that do help. Um, and yeah, definitely want to uh, build a build all those exercises on the website but uh, i don't have that <clears throat> okay all right so yeah let's see um huh, good question drawing flowers let's see we can actually do a couple more flowers <clears throat> uh that's all that's getting late 833 let's see i if i go to that uh, pdf website that pdf website oh we have two hands up all right jess i see it okay let's go with jess all right let's share <clears throat> all right there you go what you got? Me. There's your lion. <laughs> oh, you got the ribbon too. Cool. <clears throat> yeah. What you and you marker on there, huh? Yeah, your elephant looks solid. Dude, and I I, I messed up because I did the marker behind my bear, and my bear has a lot of polka dots. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, like oh, it shows through. Oh, okay. Oh. Because my bear was with pencil. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I didn't realize I thought that I thought this paper was like thick enough. But yeah, it it's a lie, mixed media lie. <laughs> 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 he has he has chicken pox. My bear has chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's what I have. That's near them. <laughs> super cool. Yeah, yeah, you nailed it. it. It looks he looks really solid. He looks like oh, he's like really on the ground. All right, Demi says, thank you. This is helpful as a newbie learning a lot. You. Oh, you're welcome, Jess. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, we got Mary. Mary, let's see what you got. Let's see. Uh, let me spotlight me. Here we go. I think I'm upside down. So please forgive. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, yeah, I love the grass. Yeah. yeah. You know, and you drew the form. I think he's too. a little crooked. Yeah. Huh? I think he's a little crooked. I don't know. Oh, um, uh, I think because you know the drawing was flat, and I was trying to draw it. And, yeah, yeah, it's not a big deal. Know. I don't think it's it's too. Looks well, good. Looks yeah. very nice. There you go. You can see the like the heaviness, the form. Yeah, and, and you did that by the shading the edges, so it really gives it that 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 form. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Sweet. Okay. Priyanka, uh, it looks cute. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Speaking of Priyanka, there you are. You you have your hand up. Me next. There you go. There we go. <clears throat> ah, there you go. Nice I mean, size this, too. This huh? leg a little thin. <laughs> a little thin. Ah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> you <a> nitpick now. <laughs> that's but that's that's fine. It's not, yeah. But you see, you realize it, and that's just ratios, right? Your your yeah. height compared to the width, and, yeah. and so you're getting better. So that's that's one of the things you look for, and mm -hmm. and the more you practice it, it, just becomes automatic. You don't even think about it. You just do it, right? So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Great job. Keep it up. All right. Brian, let's see what you got. <clears throat> I ran out of uh, paper at the bottom. <laughs> it's all good. I, I can't see your, you need to. What do I need to do? Oh, uh, the video. Video. Oh, oh. And it's here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. It should be on. Oh, there you are. Wait a Who's that? That's, oh, that's, uh... oh. oh, that's weird. Hold on. What oh, happened? I just lost you. Here we yes. go. Oh, all right. There you go. <laughs> it looks, he looks uh, like a map. Mm -hmm. The feet got <laughs> cut off. Yeah. I really love your gestural line. You have really nice, um, the, the line, your gestural lines look really nice. Like the shading in the back. 
the proportion got off a little bit, but but uh, it's not a big deal. I really love the feel of your line. <clears throat> the head's too big, right? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, the trunk got a little bit wider. It's not a big deal. Wider, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not a big deal, but it looks good. I, I like the, the the feel of your line is really really good. It looks really um really loose. Cool. All right, uh, all right, uh, Christy. All right, let's see. There, there you go. Oh, alrighty. Oh, he shaded him. There you go. Solid. The legs look kind of chunky. I don't know. Um. Yeah. I, well, he, he is. He, this is an elephant. Um, I think uh, I don't know. It's hard to spot. Yeah, just the, the form. But uh, it looks good. I think it looks fine. It looks fine. I don't know. You'll, you'll get it. It, it. You know, it might be slightly. It's not. A, you can tell it's an elephant. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank, thank you. Yeah, no, thank you for sharing. All right, uh, Ine. Let's go, Ine. Yeah, thank you for sharing. Yeah, sharing is always. Sometimes it's like, oh, I'm not really, um, oh, wow. cannot really, here, let me see, this, this, uh, here, uh -huh. I'm not really sure how to get this right. Huh, the back leg? Yeah. Oh, I think, no, I think, no, I think it looks all right. Um, it just doesn't look. I wanted to make it look like rounder. You know how uh -huh. I shade it? I'm not yeah. sure. They're not consistent. This one, this one are not consistent with these two legs. The, so I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how to make it look. More consistent? Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah, yeah it looks really good. If, it, if anything, just nitpick it. I, I would, if anything, maybe put a little bit more on the toe. Uh, uh, OK. Yeah, okay. a little bit on that toe. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right, Darrow, let's go with Darrow. Thank you for sharing. All right, let's go, Darrow. Hello, Neil. Hello. All right, there you go. Ah, you got the mouse. I forgot the mouse. Yeah, it was supposed to be a monkey, <laughs> but. Uh... <laughs> oh, sorry. No, yeah, it's, okay. it's a little bit small, but I. I yeah, think... well, it's small. It's hard to see, but yeah, I, yeah, because we talked about mouse. I, I assumed it was a mouse. Yeah, I think I'm still getting there in the proportions, but I felt better about this one. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Proportions and it, yeah, definitely uh, starting it. You you know where your challenges are. That's that's the thing, and uh, definitely um, it, it, you're getting uh, really good observational lines and doing some good observing. So yeah, just keep it up. Oh, do. Thanks so much. All right, you're welcome. All right, Mary. Let's see ya. what you got. All right. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a smile and oh, it's the trunk. <laughs> there you I go. I feel like um, he's like a ballerina or something because his posture is very straight <laughs> uh -huh. compared to oh. I think the actual picture. Right, 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 right. So the the um, and what that is is seeing the axis line, kind of like the axis line of the shape, that first shape. So when I put the video online. Uh, yeah, take a look at that that axis line that that uh, I think the the first egg shape that I had the body uh, and noticing oh, that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I yeah. This should like come up here. I'm noticing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. have more of a hunch. Yeah, this light. Yes, yeah, so I see that. And then this, I this is the first time I tried doing any of the um, wow cross hatching. That looks really good. Yeah. I feel like I need more guidance on where to, how to do the, the shading. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, yeah but for your first time, that looks, that looks really good for your first time. Yeah. That's, um, David Finch talks about hat cross hatching. Uh, I mentioned him tonight, but, uh, his, his uh, YouTube channel has a little, talks a little bit about cross hatching. So if you go into his YouTube channel, do a little search on cross hatching. He okay. talks about, talks about it a little bit, but yeah, I think, I think, I, yeah. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. You got the a, a good sense of form on it. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, um, Anne. We're going to go with Anne. All right. Wow, a lot of lot of drawings. How many? We got twenty people here tonight. Still hanging in there. Hey, Anne. There you are. 
Hi, how are you doing? Good, good, good. That was go. the other, it's kind of a long leg, uh, body's too small, but. No, 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 but it's good. It's good. It, you, <laughs> but you can tell, you can tell that the legs are longer, but it gives it character. It really gives it character. I mean, it looks, it looks, <laughs> it looks believable. It looks really believable. I mean, if you if you compare, yeah, you're gonna compare to despair. Don't compare to despair. You know, you you came up, but the thing is, the thing is, you yeah, no, it, it looks it looks very believable. I like the the shadow you put under it. It looks it makes it look solid, even more solid. Like it's, uh, you know, who does long legs is um, uh, Dolly Salvador Dolly has elephants. Oh right, <laughs> even longer and thinner legs. So yeah, you know, definitely it looks it looks really solid. Oh look at that! Yeah, yeah, your 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 bear. And then the the bear. And then the flower, right in space, curved a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that bear was a tough one. He, the bear. It, it was, was a tough one. Yeah. 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 But you made it much more accessible, and this is the lion. Ah, there's oh, I love the ribbon. You got the ribbon in there. Sweet. All right. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for sharing. All right. Uh, should we call it a night? No, we'll, we'll do some quick drawing. I, I will go to the website. I don't know. Did I get everybody who'd like to share? All right. Sweet. Yeah, we'll do some quick drawing. Uh, we're getting close to, to the to we can go 915. Uh, it's not a big deal. Um, let's see. I'm going to share my screen. We'll, we'll go to that website. It's good practice drawing, good practicing, just sketching really quickly. Um, this is going to, uh, you know, uh, depending on what you're focusing on. Uh, let's go to uh, L-I-N-E, line. It's a line of action practice. This is figure drawing, but we're going to look for animals, I think. Am I sharing my screen? Yeah. Uh, am I spotlighted? I don't know. I think it's spotlight. Oh, yeah, I need to remove the spotlight. Sorry. There we go. All right. So uh, what do we want to draw? Uh, let's see. Let's go to draw. Let's draw animals. We've been since uh, continue with the theme here. Um, all animals, no insects. Uh, yeah, no insects. All animals. Uh, include skeletons. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, skeletons are good. Uh, well, whatever comes up. Oh, well, I don't think I can. Uh, well, we'll see. Include skeletons. We'll see what that looks like. All the same length. You know, we've always done class mode. We've never done all the same length. Um, let's do two minute. And then, uh, ooh, I don't know how long it will go for. We'll do two minute drawings and we'll go till, we'll go till like nine, 10 or so. All right, two minutes sounds, how does that sound? Two minutes sounds good. Two minute drawings or five. No, two, two is good. Two is a good amount of time. That way you don't have to like, oh, these are done in two minutes, two minutes. Let's see how many they give us. All right, ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> I like that one. I want to pause it, <laughs> get ready. <laughs> Look at that shape, you can see the body. And then just this, this angle of this, yeah, really nice shape there. Let me see. Uh, let me get ready. I really want to draw this one. So this hen, hen rooster. I'm gonna move my camera down. You don't see. Right, here we go. Oh, that's too, too much paper. Uh, all right. So uh, I'll take this one slow, so you can see what I, I my thinking is. I try to see the big form. This is my hand upside down. There we go. Uh, I have something in the chat as well. So if you want to take your time, draw something. All right. Good night. You're welcome, Daryl. All right. Cool. All right. Let's, let's center my paper. Get some. Get ready. Yeah. What I'm doing. Uh, actually, this is what I'm. Gonna, this is what I do. I just see the big shape. I see the body. First thing that strikes me. I can see the body. And it's it's kind of like that shape. I know there's more stuff to it. I mean, if I really take a closer look to it. There's, there's, uh, you know, but I'm really just trying to capture the ratio. It's not a perfect like round. It's a little bit wider. And then I have the neck coming out of here, the neck coming out at, at an angle and then the head like right on top of that. And I try to capture um, how that head relates to the body. That's proportions. You know, you don't want the head too big or the head too small. And sometimes it'll be off. You might have a little skinny neck or, or long legs like somebody. That that elephant looks good. I don't know. that uh, It did look good with that long legs. <clears throat> um, but uh, yeah, there we go. And, just, and, just, and if you only have two minutes, that would be it. You know, that's it. And then go to the next picture. So uh, let's put the timer on. Let's, let's see. Continue now. Um, 
That's it. All right. So now I'm going to add to it. So is the timer? Yeah, there it is. 152. So and if I wanted to, then I can, depending on how much time, some of the other ones that we've done, it just gives you 30 seconds and then it goes up five minutes or so. Uh, refine where the eye is. And just scribble it in. I mean, it doesn't. It's cool. It's just two minutes. Hey, I did this in two minutes. You, you kind of surprise yourself because sometimes we overthink things. Okay, just see the big shapes, see how they all fit. And then, uh, or we focus too much on detail. This forces you really to see the big shapes. And if you have time, go back in, get the detail. Because you really want to see the, the big shapes and practice seeing the form. Oh, Eladio, we're not seeing your drawing. We're seeing oh. the image. <laughs> you know, that's, actually, uh, it's fine. You should be looking at, you should be drawing the. Oh, okay, well, thank you. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, don't copy mine. <laughs> but the copy was good. <laughs> yeah. No, you're copying from the picture. You're copying from the picture. <laughs> yeah. Can I see the picture of the rooster? Or yeah, you should be able to see the picture of the rooster. I'm sharing my screen, so it's too small. I can't see. Is it too small? Yeah, on my screen, it's too small. I'm using my iPhone. Oh, oh that's weird. Because I'm sharing my screen, so it should be bigger. Unless I have somebody else, uh, let me check my. Your picture is big, but the chicken is not. Oh, how weird. I think, uh, you know what, because I'm spotlighted. Let me spotlight myself. Uh, On mine, I see the chicken. Right, hold on. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay, got it. Oh, okay. All right, down to five seconds. I didn't get to draw it as much. All right, next one. <laughs> Oh, look at that baboon. Oh. <laughs> here we go. Two minute baboon. There's a slight angle. Here's here. This is where you get the try to get the shape and then the angle, that axis. Um, yeah, you see that that shape of the head. And then the body, the hand. Oh my god, I got a migraine. And that <laughs> there we go. And then the body compared to the head. And if you, this is all you get, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But just really quickly with a few lines and strokes and capture that structure. But here we go. Let's see if we can get some little detail. I want to focus on the face. <laughs> There's that joke. Uh, the husband goes to his wife, oh, here's some aspirin. Oh, I, why I don't have a headache? And he goes, aha. Ha. <laughs> All right, let me get the eyes. The eyes are hiding in there, little beady eyes. We got 40 seconds. Ah, oh, look at that one. That's nice. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I can see a large chicken, but uh, small. Okay. Still share screen. Oh, no. uh, oval with a triangle back to it. the way the neck kind of curves and the head. That's a getting the shape of the head almost circular and getting the attaching that neck. the beak out at an angle. One minute.
it usually says like you have three more drawings at this. This is the first time we ever actually ever did just uh, time drawing two minutes. It probably might even go on forever. Or go on for a long time. seconds. I'm happy with that one. All right, two, one, next. Ooh, oh, family. That's cute. That is hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's in a lot of dark area too, so the dark area. And some of the lines are, the edges are really subtle, so. It's kind of hard to focus on one thing. That's a really soft edges, that's what it is. So you almost have to shade with those soft edges. Twenty seconds, twenty two. Oh, hamster or guinea pig. Ah, that was going to be better. I'm not happy with my hands. <laughs> Let's 
right. He's looking forward. This is a tough view. Yeah, let's see. What that? is that? It's not a rat, right? Because of the tail? No, it's a mouse. I, oh, I thought not, mouse not a rat. I thought mice had little tails. <laughs> oh, this, one. this one has a big one. No, this one's a mouse. Yeah, rats. Are, or it could be a baby rat. But it's definitely not, not uh, an adult <laughs> rat. That scared me when you said that for some reason. <laughs> it could be a baby. <laughs> I scare my sister. Uh, I sometimes go around. And she's like, ah! Oh, man. I can only imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy a fake one and just put it on the floor and make that sound. That would be me. <laughs> Yeah, I've had, I've seen some where you actually they wind up and you, and they like move really quick and they look, they look pretty real. Twenty eight seconds. Huh? Gosh, I, think I lost focus on this. <laughs> Not that food is it? <laughs> It's all good. 10 seconds. Yeah, I think I made a little bit of a comeback, but I'm not happy with it. It's all good. Oh, goldfish. Sit on the back. Yeah. Nice, big, solid shape body. Fins on there. See how they're attached. Forty-seven Oh, this is something I wanted to say tonight. Um, ah, cows. I wanted to say um, I learned, well, it's always about doing the best you can. And then that that uh, whole analogy with um, the foot, or baseball, you know, you don't always hit a uh, home run. But the other analogy that I kind of like really, uh, I was playing somebody, um, check, checkers, and uh, you play to learn, not play to win. And I was like, oh, that was such a, mind uh, mind blow like yes play to learn not play to win so somebody was playing even though i, I was winning them i was like no no don't no don't hold back i'm like all right <laughs> but they were playing to learn and that was such an awesome mindset you know because sometimes i know i remember playing my brother he showed me how to play chess and he always beat me but i was like ah. But, you know, you have that mindset. Okay, I'm going to play to learn. I'm not going to play to win. Just, you know, and, and play to have fun. Yeah, it's just that mindset. That slight change makes a big difference. 
sometimes they're like oh our drawing didn't come out perfect the way we wanted to and you know it's like we get discouraged you know the thing is no it's 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 the journey it's shh, keep shooting it's being in the game it's doing it being on that highway and sometimes you'll be in the slow lane sometimes you'll get a flat or you gotta keep it going So detailed. It just depends on what you're focusing on. Focusing on that. <clears throat> Eight seconds. Four. Oh, look at that one. I'm probably going to pause this one. <laughs> follow the donkey our our mascot is a mule of all the mascots see it's that similar shape to the elephant similar shape i think i don't know what other animal we drew but it's got that head shape once you get that once you see that pear shape then you're like oh okay it's that pear shape again Not gonna fit. Mm -hmm. It's got, yeah, it's got blinders on. Help keep focus, focus. Discipline. Still not try. <laughs> so I told this joke in class. <clears throat> um, what is a teacher and a, what's the difference between a teacher and a and a train? <laughs> and the joke goes. What's the difference between a teacher and a choo-choo train? A train. What? Can we, can we guess or? Yeah, you can guess. Um, is it teachers don't stop? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, so the, the joke goes the uh, the train goes choo-choo, and the teacher will make you spit your gum up. So. <laughs> <laughs> So a student of mine goes, um, the train stays on track. <laughs> like, thanks. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that student got you though. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's like a bird. Uh, yeah, oh man, that was that's a good one though. <laughs> This is great. This is like a ribbon that we did earlier. Yeah, yeah. The curves and I'm, I'm still stuck on the mule. Uh, yeah, that's good. I should pause it. Uh, yeah, I see how it's all connected. Ooh, no, I don't want to cancel. I want to pause. There we go. Yeah, the ribbon, the angles, and the curves, and the parallel. See it all kind of. The, the, the more you develop those skills and see it, I just point them out, and then you can just uh, 54 seconds, 906. I don't think it's. I don't think this will stop. I think it'll keep going till till we uh, <laughs> until I stop it. There we go. Yeah. Reminds me, huh? It's such a pretty fish. Yeah, out of the tail. Look at the colors in here. Amazing. The transparency. The translucency. Really pretty. The face is a little uh, mother can love, but the 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 fins really flow nicely. It's a little grouchy. 
<laughs> like angry cat, angry fish. <laughs> angry fish. Right, oh, let me unpause it. I thought I unpaused it. All right, there we go. All right, got to wind it up. Maybe one or two more. Let's go, 30 seconds. We'll do one more, 907. Yeah, once uh, next month, maybe, or even mid after next month, I have a video um, I need to produce. Um, we can probably go longer. If people want to hang out and ask questions and feel free to throw stuff in the chat, actually. Uh, good night, all. All right, Demi. I don't know what time that was. I can see large chicken, but small. Oh, that's still, that was an old one. Ooh, I don't like that one. Next. <laughs> or I don't know. Should we do next? No, it's too late. Oh, I can actually even go back. Oh, that's cool. Yes, I'm sure it goes through their whole thing of animals. Right, I'm going to skip that one. I'm taking a little break for the stretch. You can draw that one. I'll draw the next one and then we'll call it a night, I think. I'm just stretching a little bit. Uh, it's good to get up. It's good to move around. Yeah, because uh, that's that's definitely got to take care of yourself. Oh, yeah. We've been, we've been at it since uh, 6.30. Well, I've been at it since, <laughs> since early. Thursdays are my long days. <clears throat> Yeah, yep, yep, yep. All right, one last one for me. I'll do one last one. Call it a night. If anybody wants to share, that's fine. If you don't want to share, that's okay. These are really quick, quick drawings. This is the back of the lion. Hey, <laughs> we did the front, now the back. All right. 37 seconds. Should I try to capture it? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. The body, the pelvis, you can see that pelvis. Oh, 10 seconds, 10 second drawing. Seven. Ooh, oh, I don't like that one. <laughs> Skip it. <laughs> oh, that, all right. Well, let's do that one. We started with a lion, we're ending with a lion. <laughs> all right. Nice angular face. Let me get those angles. Oh, gotta get the body. 
10 seconds or so. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, I'm gonna stop. Uh, if you wanna, oh, cancel that, I'll pause it. So if you wanna draw that one, I'll, uh, I'll wow. just stop. Yeah, that's a nice one. So any questions um, or anything, I'm gonna call it a night myself. If you wanna show your work, we can-, can we see yours? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, sure. Um, well, here's mine. I can I can go full screen after this. I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll wait till this one's done. I can show my sketches, the ones I did. But um, yeah, it's not a, and you should be able to see a little bit. All right, we're down to 17 hardcore people hanging out. That's good. Yeah, we'll, we'll hang out a little longer. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of having a second night. <clears throat> so I don't know, we'll see. We'll see Thank you so much for hanging out with us. <laughs> well, Especially getting up to six in the morning. Yeah, wow. wow. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. It was a great lesson as always. Appreciate oh, it. You're welcome. It was fun. Thank yeah. you. All right, you're welcome. So what's okay. the best way to, to practice without you? Oh, best way to practice without me? Wow, it's just to do it. The thing is just to do it. Uh, find stuff that you like, wow, this looks interesting. And then and then draw it. There's, there's some good books. Um, so there's good books out there um those uh that website that uh, has some books in there i'm gonna i'm gonna try to i'm uh, yeah <laughs> try to organize all that stuff and, and um, get it from beginning to really get the absolute beginning ones out there there's other websites too yeah so it's just first thing is just doing it second it is is finding good good um you know things to, to do did, did i pause it oh yeah i did pause it yeah i said yeah it's more than two minutes we'll, we'll stop yeah we'll cancel that one yeah that was more than two minutes i was like wondering what's why hasn't it stopped uh let me see so classes start here let me see we've got um yeah I your rep i'm sorry your rep it's uh sites a super sketchbook uh this, this one on my iPhone, it was really cramped up in there. It's hard to see. It seems overwhelming. Uh, what so is your website? Oh this my! Oh yeah. You know what? Yeah, on the phone, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not um, ideal for the phone right now. Yeah, because oh. it has a lot of stuff on there. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. Stuff on there. Yeah, throw videos and yeah, it's not ideal for the phone. I haven't uh, um, customized it or fixed it for the phone. Okay. I haven't had time. I, I just been throwing stuff in there, resources and stuff. So yeah, for the phone, it doesn't look good. Um, <clears throat> uh, let me see. Yeah, I want to have one page where it has actually I started it. If you look up here, oh, where it says focus one, let me see. Is it I'll start here? Focus one home. No, see, this is, looks yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, I got to fix all this stuff. Um, yeah, it says focus one. And there was other other pages. Yeah, see like that focus one here. It says just draw pen and paper. What holds us back? Taking action and just doing it. Yeah, things just doing it. Yeah, there was a lot of resources. I've had resources and I've taken them off and added them. I was struggling with motivation. Oh, look, this video is gone. <laughs> uh, that was there. Here's a web page article. Some YouTube channels. Here, yeah, like here, this one, fears and doubts that hold us back as artists. Yeah, some of the uh, psycho psychology. Yeah, definitely the, the psychology is, is a barrier. You know, sometimes we hold ourselves back. We are our worst critics. So some of the, that's, that um, is in here as well. Oh, Lady Gaga falls off stage. Yeah, what are you scared of sharing? Yeah, it's advice for artists who are too hard on themselves. Creativity versus critical thinking, yeah. Just do it. Take action. See, look, there it is. Know what you want and uh, just take, do it. Just take action. You're not going to, you know, get over the fear, get over the doubt. Build your conf self confidence. Yeah, it's building that confidence. Like, okay, wait a minute. And then, like, okay, I'll get it. You know, get it over time. Yeah. All right. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We'll call it a night. Thank you for joining okay, us. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank, thank you, Elanio. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Thank you.
don't anybody go test any smells with aspirin. <laughs> oh, I am not assigning anybody. <laughs> and, 